Uh, my name is Greg Fordall. I'm the engineer for 311 RS Motorsports. So in the North American Carrera Cup, like the World Carrera Cup, all the components of the car are what's called a spec component. There's no individual choices with the teams to choose different rotors, pads, etc. Everyone's supplied the same thing. Everyone purchases it from Porsche Motorsports. What we have is what Porsche basically has decided is the best solution for this particular car. So the vendor they chose was Paget. Paget's a German company that's built uh, both street and racing brake pads for a very long time. You know, our expectation really is to get a weekend out of a set of pads. So the pads start out about this thick. Here's how they might look after a weekend. So you can see the wear is actually quite, uh, quite a bit considering it's only three to four hours of track time. The break-in process is fairly complicated. So obviously you can't just say, oh my God, the pads are low and throw pads on because you waste a huge amount of time bedding them in. And so we try to pre-plan and have each set prep for each weekend before we get there. When we talk about bedding the pad in, the pad and the rotor interface, right? So when these two parts are made, they're not made together. This is made in a factory over here. This is made in a factory somewhere else. We need these parts to be mated together so the parts are smooth and touching all the way around. So the bedding process removes all the high points from the rotor and the pad. This looks like a glaze, but actually it's the transfer of pad material to the rotor that allows the friction to be high enough for us to use it. So the driver has to go out and very slowly heat the pads carefully, bringing out the rotor and the pad up to temperature. And then at a, when he decides he starts to feel the beginnings of friction, very, very hard for two, three laps. Then he's got to spend another two or three laps slowing down, slowly releasing the heat that he just generated to allow the pad to degas, it's called. When these pads get super hot, the materials used to make the pad create gas. The gas comes out, it can create a layer between the pad and the rotor, which is very uncomfortable because basically the pedal goes to the floor, the car doesn't stop, and usually involves an impact with something hard. So you really want to avoid the pad degassing. That's why it's important that they get bedded so that the gas is all gone. Uh, we use a process where we have them pre-done off the car just to save time on the weekend. So we'll actually send them to a place that specializes in, have a machine basically that does a pre-programmed bed-in procedure where it slowly builds the temperature, beds the pad, reduces the temperature, they go in a box, they're now ready for me as a set to install directly on the race car and go out for a session. So if you look at the edge of the rotor, you can see the color change, meaning these have been up to temperature. See how much wider it is on these? Because they're very well used, so the temperature's reached almost to the backing plate. The slotted rotor, the idea is to allow small particles, dust, gas, to escape. So you notice these are veined. So this is a left front rotor. So they're designed so as they spin, they allow the air being introduced to exit through the rotor. But you notice the slots go the other way. So those are designed to clear out the pad annulus and keep this area clear of the gas and dust and, and carbon and things like that that are uh, built up. When we had drilled rotors, the problem with those is they crack way, way too soon. So you get all these little sharp edges that generate a stress riser. The stress riser becomes a crack. The rotors aren't worn, but they're garbage. Here you'll notice these things, these are wear dots. So these are cast at different depths into the rotor. So as these wear down, I'm going to lose this dot, and then now I've got probably, you know, a race before this dot disappears. These rotors are no longer usable because now I've lost the grooves, and this is the no-go. Once this wears out, it's not safe to operate anymore. Typically, the first thing they notice is a loss of performance. So a driver will talk in the terms of bite. So when they first touch the pedal, they're expecting immediate response from the brake package. If you get them quite worn, you get on the pedal, they have to push a lot harder than normal to get the car to slow down the same amount. So it adds to the brake zones, adds to the effort, and interferes with what they're doing in the car, so they typically don't like it. They like this, not that.